Let okay, so just fair warning. Be because Whoa. of that, my defense and health have dropped a bit, but my attack's Where? really high. <laughs> when it's solo play, I like nearly beat all the bosses with that, except for like the last one I switched to a bamboo sword. So I'd recommend getting a bamboo sword and just crafting that whenever things get dicey for you. All right, right enough of the distractions. We're here to get a boat, remember? It's that wayward ship has the kind of reputation your father mentioned. It might be tough getting a ride from a regular sailor. Seafarers are known to be a superstitious lot, after all. Anyway, let's go to the harbor and see what we can find. Haha, <laughs> I am glimmed. Oh my god, my attacks. Yeah. Did you immediately run to the harbor, Rex? Yeah. Oh, wow, you did. Because it said to do that, so that's what I did. Come on. Attack speed! Okay, okay. Marshy. Marshy's looking at the kitty. Okay, we gotta go up. What are you weeding? Oh. I was talking to people. Okay, ding, ding, ding. who are we talking to, then? I was talking to this person. Okay, so well, do you, you want to go to the harbor now? Do you want to talk to everyone? Well, what, what do we... I... I guess we could talk to people later. No. No. There's a boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want a boat ride somewhere? <laughs> oh, that ship. It's said to appear only in the thickest mist you can imagine. Not to mention all the other rumors about it. No sane sailor would go out there. You might as well give up. Uh, not that one. Dead. Mushy! Uh, um, how do I do a lady voice? <laughs> the, the legendary. Nope, that's not. I don't know how to. Okay, the legendary. Oh, <laughs> oh not you too. Unless you have. Got a, unless you've gotten written order from Ivy, I'm not going to. I'm not giving you this submarine. I had just finished building the last one when Luke appeared out of nowhere and set off on it. Getting getting to that mystical ship is crucial for the final step of my great project. I can't stall any longer. I'm sorry, you'll have to find someone else to take you there. Just shove us all on your submarine. A legendary ship? Ah, you must mean the Lost Ark. First off, I don't even know that it exists, and if it does, why would I even go near it? Ever go near it? <laughs> I make more money per trade run than most collectors do in their entire lives. So no, I won't risk my fleet and the lives of my men looking for some derelict ship in the mist. Derelict. Yeah, I know. I just- it was too late. <laughs> my spaghetti had already fallen. <laughs> Sorry, kids. You better look for someone more desperate. Come to think of it, you could try looking for those annoying gangsters in the desert saloon. They own a cheap rowing boat, and considering their debts, they might just be desperate enough. There's a, dude, there's a scuba Wait, let's see the- we gotta- we gotta- we gotta look at the orb! What orb? There's an- Marshy, there's an orb up here. Oh. What is this? Apples? I didn't ask for apples! But, but, but that's all we have. Oh, we're sorry, Mandrake. I bet you're lying, you rats. I'll show you what happens with snotheads who lie to me. Hey, Beef Skull. Oof. What the? <laughs> what do you think you're doing extorting kids on my turf, Mandrake? Your turf? Ha! Go play with your eye patch, Twig. This town is mine. <laughs> Ow! Are you crazy? <laughs> Mommy! Stupid poser punk. Just because you're big doesn't mean you're cut out for the thug life. <laughs> I didn't choose the thug life. <laughs> like Scoobs, you <laughs> saved us, man. <laughs> you're a hero. H hero I'm a gangster you fools hero gangster to me I don't care you're the best uh. will you be our friend pretty please <laughs> thanks I hate it teehee um 
at least tell us your name. Well, the name's Vilya. But you two can call me Boss. Boss! <laughs> look how happy they look. This orb, it's like those we found in Tai Ming. Perhaps being thrown between ages affected our perception of time somehow. I wonder if these things have appeared in other places. Do you remember those three, Myrshi? Do you remember the time? Coins be wrought. I've lost another heart. And now my captain won't let me aboard the ship unless I find it. Those sailor hats. Are they some kind of uniform? No, oh, it's not a uniform. It's just the most efficient headwear for working on a ship. Well, it's supposed to be anyway. Most of the hats are imbued with wind magic. They're basically little sails if you turn your head just right. Veteran sailors can use them to literally fly around the deck, and sometimes even between boats. As for me, I'm not very good at it. When I was jumping ashore, mine blew off, and then a seagull took it and flew away. Do you... Do you think you could look around for it? A seagull flew out into the desert, so it should be there. There. It's just there. Can we open... Oh... Have <laughs> seizures. Oh. Wait. Wait. Doesn't she kind of look like a carpenter? Why is she dozing off instead of fixing the bridge? Hey, wake up! Crab and mushroom and carrots. Wake up! Oh, he angie. Who's there? I'll fight you. How about fixing that bridge instead? I hate having blocked paths close to teleport plate. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I don't know, man. This heat is really doing a number to me. It's so cozy, you know? Cozy? What? Anyway, since we're not gonna fight, I'll go back to sleep if you don't mind. I do mind! Go fix the bridge! Jeez, Grandpa, impatient much? Alright, how about this? If you can get me some ice cream to cool me down, I'll Jimmy rig that bridge for you. <laughs> Jimmy rig? Alright, fine. There's an ice cream bar or by the there's an ice cream bar by the beach anyway. Cool. Cool. I want a five flavor cone with crab, mushroom, carrots, egg, and pumpkin. You got all that kids? Let's go buy the streamer some ice. That's disgusting. You remember what they were? Yep. Crab. I can do it. Mushroom, pumpkin. It order matters, by the way. Oh, then that I don't doesn't. know it. It does. It, it does. Shut I up. I done it out of. Okay. <laughs> hey there. What can I get you? A cone with five different flavors. The. Uh, what were they again? Five flavor cone is a thousand gold. Just point the flavors you'd like, and I'll get your ice cream ready. Do you remember what she said she wanted, kids? Do me to do it, or...? If it, the order matters, I guess. It doesn't. Oh. Alright! A five flavor cone with crab, mushroom, pumpkin, egg, and carrot. Did I get that right? Mm -hmm. Great choices! Here's your ice cream! Please enjoy! Oh man, crab flavored ice cream. My favorite. <laughs> Dude, imagine just eating ice cream and having like chunks of crab meat in it. That sounds disgusting. Delicious. Pretty sure that exists somewhere in like Canada. I want to eat it. Oh, neat. You really did give me some ice cream. I was just about to lie down again. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. This combination is too good, dude. Let me finish eating this thing and I'll help you out with the bridge. There you go. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wow, the repair work is so shoddy. I'm almost impressed by it. Well, let's hope it holds up. <laughs> Yay! Now we can get to the teleport plate. Yeah, yeah. You got an orb. You're an orb. Oh my god, my attack speed. We need to get the sailor's hat. Yeah, I forgot where that is. Give me a second. 
it just there's a bird here that just dropped it's now I need to walk all the way around. I'm gonna kill these vegetables. I'm gonna kill a baby. Oh run! <laughs> a buster. Oh you found it! That's great, Bart. My captain already gave me the boot for losing it. Again. Actually not that sad about it. Maybe now I can find something that suits me better. Keep that! I won't be needing it anymore. Uh, am I reading that, I guess? Vange, Vange! Wait, what are- oh. Oh, I'm so worried. I didn't want to get others involved, but I'm at my wit's end. You look like collectors. All right, lady, just spit it out. What's the trouble? My cat has gone missing. She usually hangs around the harbor to beg for fish, but a seagull scared her off. She's a gray cat with white with light spots. Oh, and she really likes fish. Maybe you could coax her into coax her with that if you find her. <laughs> oh. Portobello mushrooms. Do we have the fish hat? No, we don't. Fuck! There's a fish hat? Yeah, it kind of makes this quest actually easy. Otherwise, you need to drop like 50 million fish to bait it. Which means we either need to go back to like Pillar Mountains and fish until we can get the fish hat, or we just ignore the side quest. I'd say ignore it. I mean, unless, Marshy, you want to do it. It's kind of your let's play. Uh, it's... I... honestly, it's not really mine anymore. <laughs> So I don't care what we do. And okay. Rex is off. Then uh, let's just go north. To the saloon. Do we go with to thine saloon? Cool. I'm really glad <laughs> these questions are answered. Password. Come on. We're on an important mission. Just open the door. Password. All right, Rex, show me your guessing game. Do you think it's one, two, three, four, JK at L, Y, and, or password? Password. Why she? JK at L, Y, Y, and. Mm. Password. Y'all weak. <laughs> to go with what you want, dude. Correct. The password was always oh. password. Do we want to talk to everyone in here? It's a good thing we play with fake money, or this machine would ruin us! This, Rex in the tower. this game is ingenious! There's no way to win! <laughs> uh, uh, and this fat ass. This <laughs> Big Mama! I never noticed the name before. Come on, you wimps, fight harder. We're never going to win the championship if you keep wrestling like wusses. Big Mama. Ha <laughs> ha These Wally Sluggers ain't got nothing against a player like me. I was playing cards with Grandpa Griddle when I was just a slit was that when I was just a tiny slippy diddle, was I? Slippy diddle? <laughs> Um, okay. I don't know if this is the right line because I clicked on her earlier, so can he read? Okay, I can beat the gangster alright, but this pirate is some kind of genius. Whenever I think he's got nothing, he's got everything, and when I think he's got something strong, he's bluffing. Should I just do the opposite of what I think is right? <laughs> this man... I can't believe Sven. my luck with these guards. Whenever people are down on their luck, they come to me for loans. But who do I go to? <laughs> <laughs> the loan shark, loan shark. Leave me alone. Only mouth I want to see moving is the mouth of this bottle. Moving towards me. Oh, that's so depressing. Hey you... there. You look a bit young to be hanging around a place like this, don't you think? Nah. Though, to be fair, for all the rough folk that come here, we don't see much trouble, truly. 
I don't want to sound snobbish, but I'm classically, I'm a classically trained pianist. I know all the minutes of Mozart, the nocturnes of Chopin, 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 even the most difficult piece of the legend by the legend Rashwomanoff. Yeah, the only job I can get is playing saloon music. Did you know they named this piece I'm playing saloon? Ridiculous! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> you guys, what is it now? Are you looking for a fight? Please don't tell me you guys are the gangsters with the boat. What about our boat? We totally paid the harbor rent this time. Go bully someone else. Relax. We're not here to beat you up. <laughs> really? That's great news! Hey! <laughs> Bah! Shut it, you two. Spit it out, Pouch. What do you want with our boat? We need to get to an old abandoned ship out at sea. They say only an idiot would ever go there, so we came to you. Insults even when asking for help, is it? Her eye patch is on the wrong side. Fuck you. <laughs> now that's the language I speak. <laughs> it's true. She does. Shut it, you two! Listen, you old sack, we'll take you to the ship, but we won't do it for free. Naturally. And we won't do it for gold, either. No, that would be letting you off too easy. How about... How about you get us that legendary gemstone, the Red Sun? Bring that here and you've got yourself a ride. The... what? The Red Sun. I heard about it from an archaeologist I robbed... I, I mean... Torch, uh, that I met in a sewing class. Anyway, he said it would be hidden in some old ruin in the desert, behind mind-bending riddles and nefarious, deadly traps. D -d deadly traps? Mind-bending riddles? Sorry. All right, we'll get you the jewel. We have mind-bending riddles and deadly traps for breakfast. Best of luck, then. Now get out of my face. <laughs> Why Vilya so angry? She anger. Why don't you step back from that ledge, my friend? You could cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. Please. Okay. Oh. If you never want to see me again, I would understand. Gotta kill these guys. inside that room, blindly trying to solve the puzzle inside. If he didn't have so much pride, maybe he would have asked one of us to translate the writing for him. This poor man, look how depressed he is. It's impossible. There are too many combinations. The texts on the wall are just gibberish. If only I could translate them. Let's go give him a look-see daisy. It's a lot of symbols, and you recognize none. Mm -hmm. This civ civilization was ancient even when I was young. I can't read this. Maybe those archaeologists can translate for us. Hmm? You're trying to solve the puzzle as well? I don't know why I started reading for her. <laughs> yes, but we need to translate the scribbles inside. I'd love to help, but I don't have the translations home on me right now. We only have one, so we pass it around a lot. So? Who has it then? As I said, we pass it along. You'll just have to ask around. Ugh. The Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. 
summon weed or not. I think Marshy was his character. Was I? Oh yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah, let's just read them. Hmm? Translation tome. No, I lent it to Fidget a couple days ago. He probably he's probably out brushing up some jars or plates. Try the eastern part of the desert. I don't mind if I just uh fish. Not <laughs> this buster right here. Huh? Translation tome? Yeah, I had it before, but if it's so hard to speak while brushing, why don't you stop while you talk? I would. But I think. All right, all right. Just tell us where the tome is. I think D has it somewhere around here. <laughs> this man. He's the worst. Who is D? Were you D? Oh What's yeah. <laughs> no, that was me. The translation tome, huh? Well, yeah, I had it, but I just gave it to Howard. Where can we find him? He's up on the plateau over there. Not sure how he got there, if I'll be honest. If I'm honest. I will if be honest. If someone's honest. <laughs> if an individual in this world is an honest individual. I think it's there. What about this one? Doesn't matter. We don't need that one. That one is just for like getting that... Uh... You remember the puzzle we got like way early on? Oh, wait. Yeah, it was just for that, like, one chest. Sure, you could have the translation tome. I don't need it right now. Just don't hog it, would you? If you find an archaeologist who needs it later, please share. Thank you, you got mister. the tome. <laughs> Did you say thank you, mister? Yeah. Don't make she so polite and then we're here just like, okay, thanks, see ya. <laughs> we never give it back. Yeah, we keep it. No archaeologist ever gets it back. Maybe yeah, we could give it to Mandrake. Um, or this Mandrake dude. Are we we could talk? give it to him afterwards, maybe. We save his pride. Maybe, yeah. We just reset the puzzle. Through the emptiness for ages and eons, the arch dragon flew. After contemplating everything that ever could be, she laid three eggs that would make up the universe. To the far west, she laid the egg of the sun. To the far east, she laid the egg of the moon. In the center of it all, she laid the egg of the world. The sun hatched, and the moon hatched, but the world remained an egg. The arch dragon per sat perched a the arch dragon sat perched atop the egg of the egg. The arch dragon sat perched atop the egg of the world for a billion years. Yet the egg never hatched. The dragon wept, and her tears became rivers, and the rivers became oceans, and on the hills of the shell grew trees and grasses. The egg became a world of its own, a mockery of the true world imprisoned inside. Anguished, the arch dragon flew away to the darkest part of the shadow of shadow to contemplate why the egg wouldn't hatch. One day, she will return and perch herself again upon her egg, and our world will make way for the true world, and all will rejoice in our destruction, for it marks the completion of the universe. On that day, the path to salvation shall open. Great, we just read a literal wall of text. Couldn't they just have made a block puzzle? Oh well. I bet those statues should be moved in accordance to the story somehow. Yet to work, kid. Do we? There's a thing over here. That Dear gives you future clues. generations of students, here's the short version of the story. Between the sun in the west and the moon in the east, the arch dragon will perch herself upon the egg of the world. Just recreate that scene with the statues and praise the dragons. The door will open. P.S. Don't set off any of the traps. They're really, really annoying to reload. Dragon. Who 
use that right? Would it activate if it was? If it was? You did most of it though, Marshy. Look at these traps. Look at these traps. These traps are amazing. Look at the pretty gem. Mine! Well, that was easy. Oh, heck. It's or Indiana not. Jones time. <gasps> Snowman's fucking dead. Marshy's dead. Don't pick it up yet. I know. You gotta... I was trying to get around to Marshy. Summon your snowman. There he is. There he be. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oof. It's never that easy. It's never that easy. 